December 21st, and I call this meeting of the Brookfield Select Board to order. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody. And we are still good. So, um, announcements. This meeting is being recorded. I know of two, our usual uh, recording from Sharon, and uh, we have a, uh, another recording uh, going on by a uh, citizen. I think it's going out on Facebook. Um, so you guys saw us try and start the meeting at least two or three times. Uh, let's see, a uh, reminder, winter parking ban is in effect uh, uh, from now through April 1st. No parking on any street between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Vehicles in violation will be ticketed and towed at the owner's ex expense. Uh, snow and ice removed from driveways, sidewalks, and private property shall not be plowed, shoveled, or blown across any public way, street, or roadway. And I believe way includes sidewalks. Uh, one other announcement is that the uh, town has just been notified that our um, portionment of the uh, fair share amendment uh, is $102,281. Does anyone here know how that, is that just effectively grant money we can do anything with? Is there any rules on it? Or is that something that we're going to have to wait? That's ask the first time I've ever seen that fair share, so I don't know. All right. So, well, it, it, it looks know. like, um, it, it looks very specifically just from the letter that it will be incorporated as additional funds into Chapter 90. Oh, yep. I, I see that now a little further down. Yeah, so that, okay. so we would receive it however we, and typically, Chapter 90 is received as reimbursement, so it would go against our totals for Chapter 90, and then mm -hmm. as we expend Chapter 90, we'd be able to functionally claim the money. Okay, it, so it, it, it funds the same things that the Chapter 90 money does, and I believe that's road money? Yes. Road and so that's money. in addition okay. to the? Yeah, that's in, in, in addition to the standard apportioning of Chapter yeah. 90 money, this is like above and beyond money that comes from the, okay. the sur surcharge tax, mm -hmm. or right. the surtax. I won't say no. All right, and uh, Brad, would you read the warrants for us? Yeah, FY 2412 uh, payroll, $188,066.92. FY 2412 withholding, $27,191.62. FY 2412 accounts payable, $128,419.60. FY 2413 payroll, $193,070.70. FY 2413 accounts payable, $358,344.99. All right, thank you, Brad. All right, on to the agenda. Uh, first item is the uh, report from the interim highway supervisor. Gary, would you join us? I am here. All right, could you sit up here <laughs> so, that the, so that the cameras have a better uh, chance to see you? We're going to put a target on me. Also, we're, 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 trying to be a, we're trying to be a little more formal in that um, people participating in the uh, meeting with the select board will be sitting up here, okay. and then that way it's a, uh, it, it's a little more uh, deliberate. Okay. If well, not deliberate. Fair enough, and so, nice to be here. Yeah, as I say, you almost just, I think you're just finishing your fourth week or third. I can't remember. Fourth, I think. Fourth, okay, yeah, you started the 28th. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so a few things. Um, uh, obviously, I've talked with um, with you, Tom, and also with, with Kelly and the others, I think, received the information regarding Willow Brook. Mm -hmm. So I did reach out to the Bridge Division of MassDOT, um, and they were very helpful. Um, they, their big concern was, do we have to put anything back in its place? Mm -hmm. My answer to that, my response, unless the board objects, was no. We can leave that open but we would uh, recommend putting beam rail across that entrance. They asked if there was another entrance available to that area, which I said yes, on the westerly end there is another entrance available. Mm -hmm. So they're going through it, I mean Audubon is involved, Mass Wildlife, DCR obviously, and Mass Dot mm -hmm. Highway Division. So I've dealt, talked directly with the bridge, bridge folks. Very helpful, once the holidays are over, they said they'd certainly have something for me. Okay. Um, on, to do with that, um, I also looked at another site further upstream today um, with Brad, um, which leads, if the dam was breached successfully, would lead into the other culvert, which is on the west end of that old Route 9, which then became a rest area. 
I have inspected that before, and there was no obstruction there. So um, I think that'd be a good flow. And I told uh, I told Brad I'd be walking through there uh, next week mm -hmm. to see if I can breach it. And Brad said he had a permit. Yeah, I, we got the emergency permit today. We uh, and I went up myself and yep. dug open a path and. It alleviated the issue. She's got no water coming over to her good, property. Good, good. And it's going on down between my property, which is where it's supposed to go, instead of flooding. The right. Other that's yeah. <laughs> that's an obvious broker that does go down through yeah. there. So we might fill it up a little bit for a little while. Right. But we'll see. Yeah. See if we get it to dissipate. So I'll oh, be. That's a uh, that's a beaver issue near you and. Uh, it's Lagos been for like 25 years, and okay. it's what's been flooding her out. Mm -hmm. So I'll let them, I'll let everybody know. Obviously, how I how I make out when I go out there. Um, also, um, I was, uh, through Kelly, um, contacted by National Grid for their upcoming construction season to see if we had anything that was um, in the offing for road construction so they can plan their, their repair work or replacement work, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that I um, told them about was um, I keep, I keep Kimball. So Kimball is a CDBG. So I understand it's approved. I understand it has to go to bid. Um, that is, I think, would be the only thing that would affect any national grid lines. The only other road construction project I looked at, and I actually measured it, um, was Gay Road. Mm -hmm. And there's no underground utilities up there. Um, most of it doesn't even have power uh, overhead. So um, I guess the bigger part is to see when they plan on constructing, because the last thing we want to do is construct a road and have any utility have to go in the following season and dig it up. So. There's a lot to, to make sure. We've had to put things on hold in other areas that I've been involved with mm -hmm. for that reason. So I'll, I'll stay on top of that because, um, and I, I believe you all know that um, the engineering and design portion of that will still come out of our Chapter 90. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest is, is all grant, I believe, through CDBG. Oh, the construction, the construction we have a grant for, but the engineering right. yeah. is... We have a grant for that. Yeah. Okay. Right, right. So once we, that goes out the bid and we have those prices, we'll have a better grip on it. Mm -hmm. um, and as long as I, I mentioned um, Gay Road, I did measure it. And from the last bid prices I got from uh, another area, because we don't have any here right now, it would cost about, with contingencies, $400,000 to do that stretch of road. <coughs> Excuse me, that's 1.5 miles long, 24 feet wide. Is that wide. from the corner of um, Rice, Corner. Rice Corner? Right, There's, you'll see the yeah. seam. There's a seam in maybe, oh, maybe okay. 100 feet, and that would be all the way to the town line. Yeah, that 24. particular stretch of road is pretty Terrible. bad. Yeah. It, yeah. It's constant upkeep, constant pothole repair, um, icing, obviously. So um, it, it comes to um, about $330,000 for a full depth reclamation and four inches of bed conch. So I put in, or just I haven't put in, I'm just thinking about an additional to bring it up to about 400000 for contingencies for um, replacement of culvert pipes and certainly drain it's drain a big problem out there so and that's just my thought to the board i think certainly uh, right now we have i think uh, two hundred and forty thousand dollars available in chapter 90 and that's what this year's from that's not and then this will, no, like, what you mentioned this will add another 260 left there. right and then next construction season by when you have town meeting you'll approve probably roughly 167 which will put you right at about what it would cost to do gay road. Mm -hmm. We still have to take in and remember the um, engineering and design for Kimball. So right. we don't want to break the bank. That's that's your checkbook. So I'm just bringing that to the board's attention. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, we might want to talk well, to Kathy and, and, and give her a heads up that we want to start looking for possible grants sources to help with that. The problem, I think, because I've asked about this early on, was uh, it's not. I guess there's not enough traffic on it to really. I guess I the question is: Have so we have we done a traffic it? Study. Mm. So, have they even done a traffic study there recently? Because no, that's a that's a, a, um, a cut through. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is it's 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 a it's a commuter it's a commuter pipeline down into Sturbridge. Mm -hmm. Like it's one of three major means that people get from Brookfield to Sturbridge. Oh yeah, and, and um, it's being used more frequently, especially because of the bus traffic for Tantasco. Right, exactly. So. Um, I, I think one of the, I think part of the approach needs to be, and doesn't the, don't the police have like a traffic counter, they can put out? Yeah, generally I, I used to, I, I call the state, 
okay. for traffic count. Uh, if yeah. the truck exclusions for anything of that matter, then the state comes in at no charge and gives, gives you a traffic count for whatever the reason may be. Yeah, well, yeah. would you mind coordinating that for, for that stretch of road? Okay. Um, because that way it'll it'll help us advise if we haven't had a traffic an official traffic count done in a while it may it may enable some of the okay mm -hmm. sure I'll look at that thank you and then and you're right Kathy should because the season for that grant money should be coming soon right I mean we've probably missed one cycle at least by now but usually there's a couple more out there mm -hmm. I know we tried to get federal money for I want to say it was a combination of Gay Road and maybe Molasses Hill Road. I think they tried to get both of them onto a single grant for like a $1.2 million grant a couple years back. Um, and I, we didn't we didn't finish or finalize. Okay. So, um, or like we got it put in, but we, we didn't get the grant money. But that doesn't mean that there's maybe not an opportunity now to see if we can supplement it. The other thing is, is for a 400k project if we had to, to we had pretty robust free cash come back uh, we may be in a position to just fund the difference yes. rather than break the bank on the chapter 90 I, I agree it's let's, let's let's see let's see what our options are and uh, and think about how we want to uh, propose this um, and if we need to put anything on the on the, the warrant town meeting yeah I mean even if we just used half of um, one of our stabilization funds that might be, that might be prudent. We'll see. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense to use no, no, a stabilization sorry, fund based uh, on what we have coming back for free cash. Free we got seven hundred k in free cash coming back. There's no way we should be Good. breaking into stabilization. You <laughs> are correct, Beth. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. I'm, get, I'm getting at us. <laughs> we are. So. I'll put a look into that, Beth. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yep. A um, couple other things. Um, I have um, opened and reached out to the school district and have had conversations with the superintendent transportation manager and that's just for um, the event of a storm situation mm -hmm. so we know if there's going to be a delay or a closure so um, anyway productive conversations uh, we're on the same page so just wanted to let you know that that has happened um, I did have the common street signs made I had them made two sided okay. for no parking um, I understand, and I did have the area dig saved. Now you already had three signs out there. The problem with them is was they is they were not double sided, so mm -hmm. you really couldn't see them. I mean, people know they're there, but you couldn't yeah. see them unless you yeah. pulled the one them in up. front of the library is facing the southbound traffic, <coughs> and it's got to be telling the northbound traffic to can't park. Right, so I got yeah, it two sided, so you can see it going up and down the road. But now I'm here. There, there is some. There are some questions about that from the library. The. Um, the, the library um, in consultation with the historical commission and <coughs> maybe someone else um, they, they have some concerns mm -hmm. and I reached out to uh, I reached out to Brenda and I got to track her down okay uh, all right I was running errands today I'll probably try and catch her tomorrow just to catch up with her before that okay and I'll wait till that any any issues are cleared up obviously before I just go out and start popping signs in the ground yeah I, I would say at, the, at this point let's um, let's hold off yep. and okay and see see what concerns they have and um, whether how easily they can be addressed. Okay, and I'm um, speaking of the common because we're in the area. Is it um, the town's intent to leave the birthday cake up, or do you want to take it down at the end of the no, year? No, yeah. It'll... I think um, <laughs> who, who put the birthday cake up was that uh, cultural? Yeah, but the highway department brought it up. I believe. Yeah, but uh, but but it was at the but effectively the cultural council requested it be done. Right, and so. I mean, I would say that. I, I would say we, we, I expect it's get going it to come down. down. Get, no, I don't see a reason to keep it up, and so where that, does it get stored? We bought. It's like it was they're, East Brookfield. They're going to have to decide they, what to do. East with Brookfield it, the gave it to us. Yeah. So I think what we want to do is we want to find out which town in, in the nearby area is having a birthday and ask them if they want it. <laughs> there you go. It's like right. reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah, I can't. I mean, we can't take it off with with the saturation that we've had recently. I'm not going to put big ruts in the in the common, so I have to wait yeah. till the ground freezes. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention. So, yeah, no, uh, I think I think at this point it's um, uh, reach out to uh, uh, Bill Simpson and the uh, Cultural Council, and as a uh, let them let them know that we're uh, that we've asked the Highway Department to uh, remove it um, after Jan after January first, and um, when conditions and and 
scheduling permits. Okay, sure. It's low uh, priority. Uh, uh, although okay. the saturated ground would be a good time to get the sign the heck out of the ground. What's the, the sign oh, that, right. the, the sign that we said we were going to remove oh you mean the one on the corner before the, the before the, the yeah the, the before the ground freezes that that would be the time to get that out mm -hmm. which sign is that there, might there, is, know about that. Um, there is a wood there is a tr pressure treated lumber sign on the northwest corner of the common diagonally opposite from the uh, library okay and it is south of Central Street so you've got the common central street and it's, then it's, a, it's the right mall, across from the unitarian the, the stone birthday cakes on the mall section okay and this is on the northwest corner on along route 148 okay almost across the street from the um unitarian, unitarian church. universalist church okay and you want that removed yep yes at any time um yes at, at your leisure yes uh when I, again when uh when conditions and schedule permit okay yeah, so it's not it's right, not okay. it's not a rush job but okay. When the, when, the when, it, when the opportunity presents, if you can okay. get the guys out there. Okay, you got it. Um, and just to give you an update on the storm cleanup, um, because it was pretty it was pretty messy out there. Um, we've had uh, road closures, trees down on uh, a Long Hill Gay Road, Town Farm, Weber, which were all out um, all out working, uh, cutting trees up, removing them. Um, if the chief of police was here, I'd certainly. Thank him very much for his support because he backed us up. We had to go up the gay road like three times for trees that blocked the road. Mm -hmm. uh, big one behind the school that just took the, covered the whole road. So uh, Mike and I actually went up and cut that up and removed it and put it all. In the process of cleaning all the debris that's around town, a lot of um, storm drains have to be cleaned off because of the debris that went with the rain. We got about three inches of rain in this storm that was already saturated from the storm before. So we've been we've been working on that. They're still picking up um, the stuff. We're working on uh, to do also with the storm on East Main. Um, there's some some pretty good rutting that happened on that. So we're mixing some material now to spread and fill in those rutsing ruts. Excuse me uh, on the dirt part, section of the road. So um, actually, not only the rain and the wind itself that did the damage, but it's almost a constant battle. I've got a guy out now that are treating uh, treating some of the roads. I just got called. I dispatch before I came down here. Mm -hmm. So with the warm temperature in the daytime and then the freezing at night and the runoff, the saturation of the ground, the country drainage um, in a lot of sections of town just doesn't work um, because it was too much. It doesn't work. There was just too much and it mm -hmm. just came back into the road. And I know you, you all know that. You know the drill. Um, other problems we've had and I've seen um, uh, water from people's property coming down across the roads and, and icing up. So uh, we're doing the best we can to make sure that the roads stay safe. Mm -hmm. Had a big issue down on Quaybog. Um, obviously, as you probably all know, North Pond, um, that was flooded. We didn't have to close the road, uh, but we did had to close a, a lane of it and, uh, and treat it. Um, I saw some of the houses with the, the water just it right up to the you know, it, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're on top of that. And the uh, other thing that I've been looking at is the expenditures, the budget expenditures for the highway department. And I'm kind of pleased that we are below, I'm, that doesn't include this warrant, I don't have that yet, but we're still be below the 50% uh, of expenditures mm -hmm. for the end of December, except for the um, seasonal employee, but we have to keep an eye on that. So yeah. the budget's uh, in good shape, it's below the 50%, like I say, I always keep an eye on that, and um, that's all I have, if there's, unless there's any questions. Okay, we're doing okay for fuel? Doing okay for fuel. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got prices coming in. We did have somebody come down and look at the fuel system to have a, a, a more, uh, a modern, I guess, if you will, uh, accountable for fuel system there. So um, lockable key fob per vehicle registered to an employee, usually mm -hmm. by the, you know, a four digit security code. Um, and all into a new computer system because that computer system we have there is just defunct. It just doesn't. It just doesn't work. And you know, we shouldn't just have a padlock uh, on our diesel pumps. We should have a, a system that a more secure system. Um, we did have the talk to the fire chief. He believes that our above ground storage tanks are okay and they're double walled and we'll be able to keep them there instead of buying new tanks, which are very costly. So hopefully we'll just have to get some software and some 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 new equipment for a better fuel system. But yeah, uh, yeah, fuel's good. Equipment's good. We've, because uh, we haven't had any snow, we've been exercising the equipment. So we've all taken the heavies out and um, and did our routes, if you will. So getting used to my tricolored truck. 
So you know, <laughs> I like that. So we've all done that, and we I keep them exercising. I don't like things just sitting stagnant. You got to keep them moving. The guys are on top of the equipment with the fluids, uh, the greasing, um, everything. So I'm really, I'm very, very pleased of the knowledge they have with the equipment we have in the garage, and also obviously with the town. They've been very helpful, cooperative, uh, and responsive. They're they're right there. If I need them, they're there, and we work well together. So that's it. Okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. So, uh, let's see. So, I guess the, uh, the Rich raising his hand distracted me. Sorry. <laughs> it's no gross. Um, do you guys have any questions while I collect my thoughts? No. I talked to him today and yesterday. I'm pretty up to date. Okay. And then, I guess the, uh, the, the I guess the question is, is that, um, it's like, have you been getting out there with the guys? Yes. Yes, I was cutting trees with Mike, clearing roads with Mike. We cleaned it. I cleaned it, uh, a lot of the debris with, or some of the debris, not a lot, with Eric. Mm -hmm. So I have been getting out there and working with him. Um, have been doing uh, the first couple of weeks actually was just research, just to see where we were as a town, to becoming familiar with the turf mm -hmm. and the people, um, getting to know the employees better in that type of setting. And uh, obviously, I, I drove, um, had Mike drive me around the. the separate plow routes and salt routes and so on and so forth to show me them. I do have them in print and then I would took the truck out to see what it, the obstacles were, if any, mm -hmm. uh, because my truck would be the, the truck with the wing. So I'm very familiar with the route. I, when I exercise the truck, I exercise it on that route. So mm -hmm. I have been getting out with the guys. Okay. Been down to the pit several times. Mm -hmm. So. And how about like the private roads, the dirt? <clears throat> yeah, I've been up... Um, uh, Pine. So actually, I was up Pine today. There's some issues up at Pine. I've been up to. Actually, I had I had to go up to um, Lane 21. Lane 21 was blocked with a tree, so I went up and just cut it myself and then put it off to the side of the road. So, um, but those are all private, I believe. All the lane, the numbered lanes are all private, private. correct? So yeah, I've uh, I've seen them. I've seen some of them that need some work. Yeah. So they're going to be tough to plow. So. Thank you. One sec. Um, given the, uh, the, uh, Richard, Mr. Chapey has indicated a uh, desire to uh, ask Gary a question, and I, I want to consult with the board because before we open the can of worms, because if we allow Mr. Chapey to ask this question, then I think that sets precedent and opens it up to the entire floor. And I, I it does. Is that is that some is that something we are interested in? Is that a can we're interested in opening tonight, or is that something that we should? That we that we feel we want to defer. If it makes the board feel better, I'll go through the three solutions. <coughs> I need to speak to Gary. It's just a it's just a small suggestion for the for the highway. But I, you know, it's such a short call. Oh, I'll go through the board if you prefer. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you had a question. If you would, uh, let's see. Is this something you could uh, just make directly to Gary and then just let us know what you what you suggested to him, and that way it's not take, that way it's not done officially through the meeting. The, the one thing I noticed is the trucks haven't been fluid filmed as of yet. I know they're behind. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought can, that's what you, you meant. No, no, no. I was asking, can you can you can you make that suggestion to him directly and then just let us know what you suggested? Outside to him? of the meeting. Yeah, outside of the meeting. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. So Gary, if you could touch base with uh, sure, Richard, certainly, you, certainly, that would be good. That way, certainly, uh, no problem. And, yeah, but that way, but that, uh, but Richard, thank, th thank you for your, uh, for your, for your concern and, and your attention to these things. Okay. All right, all right. Um, let's see. So, I think we're all set with Gary. All right. I'm good. Okay. Thank you very much. I, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry all Christmas. Merry Christmas before I leave the table. If you don't mind, I'd like to sit oh, here and. Uh, oh, I do. I do have one minor issue. Yes. So you have much bigger projects to worry about, but back probably two or three years ago, we had a survey done for handicap accessibility, and it wasn't just buildings, it included like roads and sidewalks and that sort of thing. One thing I noticed is a byproduct of the Central Street uh, project is that the um, sidewalk that runs from the Congregational Church down to the library the area just um, south of where Central Street runs, okay. the 
slope of that sidewalk went from something that was at least close to compliant to very non-compliant from a standpoint of slope. So if we can at least just put it in the backlog of things okay. to take a look at and see if it can get incorporated into some future road project or <coughs> see if maybe we can get some grant money for handicap accessibility and take a look at a number of the sidewalks through town to get them compliant from a standpoint of rise over run and all that. It would, sure. be, it would be good. Because once we get some snow and we get some icing conditions, that's going to turn into a not just a handicap accessibility issue, but a... Uh, gotcha. It's going to be a ski jump, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. pretty much. Okay. Okay. So we can just add it to the honeydew okay. list. That would be you got great. It. So. Thank you. And as I was saying, Merry Christmas to all. If you don't yes. mind, I'd like to sit um, as you go over the next... Um, just this is the discussion Here. for the next agenda item. Yep. Sure. Okay. Okay, but Merry Christmas to all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the uh, next agenda item is the uh, permanent highway supervisor candidate search. Um, I just, I mostly wanted to bring this up uh, not to discuss the candidates, but to make sure that the uh, board was, uh, had hashed out how it wanted to move forward. Um, the the, the uh, uh, municipal, municipal Resources, I believe, is the company we contracted with, yep. is, um, has, uh, has recommended uh, two candidates to us. And is uh, my thought is, is that um, given that, um, do we want to proceed directly to uh, interviewing them in a, um, as final candidates in open session, or do we want to have an executive session to discuss this before we go to open session interviews? Um, hmm. yeah, I just, I didn't, it's like since this is something we all have to decide, I thought it was something that we needed to cover in a meeting rather than me saying, oh, I think this is what we all want. see here so did they give us any statistics on how many applications they got that they filtered for the two candidates that they're recommending we interview I I did not see any my understanding is they they received X applications they I will say seriously considered four and are passing two of them on for our and okay. and they've shared the details of all four and they've said these are the two we think are the okay, best. Okay, so they've shared the details of all four and then they've got two candidates for us to Yes. Were the two candidates that they recommended in that email? Because I saw yes, the, I saw the list of the four candidates. Yes, they were. I at the very end it, it listed the two that they wanted to do. That that, that they the, the two that they recommended we consider. But my thought is, if we want to, if we want to, if we want to think about those four or anything else, my thought is we don't need an executive session to to have that discussion. Yeah, I think we could should. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'd be happy if we just took the, the recommendations from MRI and interviewed them at the next available open session. Mm -hmm. yeah. My thinking is if, if it turns out those two, if we decide they're not the right fit, we can always go back and ask MRI for more recommendations Correct. and if we have an executive session to winnow down additional candidates. Correct. Yeah. I, I'm comfortable with that. I just <clears throat> want to make sure we all agreed this is how we're moving forward. Yeah. yeah. Brad? Sure. All right, then. Uh, okay. All right. I'll work with. Uh, I'll work with Karen to uh, contact MRI and uh, let the uh, let them know that we're interested in interviewing the uh, their two recommended candidates, and that um, we'll probably try and bring them into the one of the January meetings. Uh, just given it's the holidays, I'm expecting it will be the the second one in January, the the third week, the 18th, I believe. I think it'll be the 18th. And yeah, that I'm might, fine. That might I mean, require if we us to put, and I think we have the Town Hall Improvement Committee on there and the Council of Aging. We might have to push them out. That's, no, that's going to be February 2nd. Oh, that, okay. That, that yeah. Town Hall and, and Council of Aging already got pushed out to February? Okay, then, then we should be able to have space on the agenda for the 18th. Then. Mm -hmm. um, and if not, we'll make space because this is something I don't want to leave sitting. Yeah, well, I was going to say, if we need to do an off cycle, one in order to have room on the calendar i'm okay with the third meeting in january okay second week because we're what first and third week typically typically first and third yeah, yeah. And we'll see what their availability is way. and there's, there's nothing on the agenda for the fourth so why not just try to do it the first meeting right after the holiday um 
Oh, there's nothing on the agenda yet? I'm not sure. I'm open to that. I'm not, sh I'm not sure that, given that people are going into the holidays, I'm not sure that they would be able to make themselves available. But if we can do it, we do it. Well, let's let's yeah. find out. Yeah. If, let's yeah. find out if we can get them scheduled for the fourth. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm good with doing with having them in on the fourth. So, you can always push it. It's harder to pull it in. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Karen, are you in next week? Okay, then uh, could, could you reach out to uh, municipal resources on, uh, actually, yeah, could, uh, uh, on Tuesday if you could reach out to them and uh, ask them to uh, notify the candidates and uh, see if they are available. And uh, I expect we're going to want to interview both candidates at the same time, so if only one's available, then we're not going to have either one okay. in that day. All right. So, and, and try and get them in. If, they're, if, they, if we're having trouble getting it to work on, a regularly scheduled meeting, then let's aim for it. Let's aim for an off schedule meeting. Yeah. Find a time they can come in and we'll meet with them when we can get them both in together. All right. Okay. Anything, anything else on the uh, candidate search? No. All right. There we go. And let's see, the night of number three, the Long Hill Solar Array. Uh, we haven't heard back from town council, so we are going to defer this to when we have expert legal advice. Uh, and number four, um, the license for radio station antenna. Um, Sharon has, uh, Apple Country Radio has asked that we um, defer this to, uh, to our next meeting um, as they, uh, they were, they're, they haven't had a chance to review it yet, and so they're not ready for the meeting. Or, I hope I got that right, Sharon. It's, 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 at, at their request, we're deferring it. Is that a fair statement? Okay, that's a fair statement, all right. All right, so now, something we can actually do, the Oklahoma Brewery Victualers License. So Karen, whatever kept them off the agenda last, last time has been sorted out? Yes. All right, then I will take a motion to sign the Victualers Vict Tuiller's license for Oakland Brewing Company. So moved. Second. All right. All in favor of signing the Vic Tuiller's license for Oakland Brewing Company uh, for 2024, please say aye. 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 Next up, we have the uh, contract with Central Mass Regional Planning Committee for the uh, fiscal year 22-23 CDBG, Community Development Block Grant, um, grant management contract, where we contract out to them to manage this grant for us. Mm -hmm. right. And as I say, and everything seemed to be in order. Uh, have you guys had a chance to look at the contract? Yeah. Enough? Okay. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, Karen, do you know how much the, the, do you know what the total amount of the grant was? I don't know. That they're managing? Don't look at the cover letter. Does it have something on that? Uh, that the, uh, it or the contract. Yeah, I just didn't see how much the, I didn't see how much in, I didn't catch how much the grant was, but I was, there are a lot of pages, and I was skimming. I don't know. I don't know the grant. Okay. Their grant, but the, do they have a uh, fixed grant? Do they have a fixed I management percentage? I believe it's a percentage. But, I believe. But is it fixed for all the grants? The pers I believe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. They've been doing this for several, if not more, years, and. Yeah. Everybody thought it was a Yeah, no, part part of it's just now now that I'm now that I am involved in this, I'm just trying to get a little smarter about yes. it. That's all that's all. It's like it's not hard. All right. Oh, I don't see a point in holding this up, so I will take a motion to sign the uh, the uh, contract with uh, CMRPC. 
I make a motion to sign the contract with CMRPC for FY2223 CDBG grant management contract. Uh, second. Thank you. All right. Any discussion? All right. All in favor of signing the contract, please say aye. 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 Karen, as far as a witness signature, um, can Brad sign that? Yes. All right. Can you be my witness, please? Yeah. Well, he also has to sign it. Yeah. yeah. But if Lori's in next week, she can sign no, it next week. Otherwise, next week. it can go G. What's that? She's out next week? Yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd have been surprised if she came in. There you go. Pass that to Karen. She will need that. Is, is this time sensitive? Like, do we need to get somebody else from uh, Eric Krinshaft's to, to sign it if she's out? I can look at it and find out. Okay, yeah, find yeah. out if, it's, if, if there's some sort of deadline on there that's going to get blown because somebody from her firm can sign for her. Next item of business is um, right of first refusal for 57 Lake Road. And this is a landlocked property, has no road frontage. address is Lake Road, but the map shows, I guess it's closer to Rice Corner Road. That's just yeah, it says that. Yeah, as I was gonna say, that's just, sorry, that's just me being unexpected. Okay. All right, and there's a note here from Al saying that um, the location of the topography, his, his opinion was that it wasn't worth us acquiring, and I, I can't think of us having a use for it. So, um, so I will take a motion uh, to either, uh, I'll take a motion on this one way or the other. Uh, I'll make a motion that we um, pass on our right of first refusal. Waive. Or waive, yeah, waive our right of first refusal. Second. All right. Uh, any discussion on this matter? All right. Uh, all in favor of waiving our right of first refusal regarding the uh, parcel at 57 Lake Road, please say aye. 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 All right. So waived. Uh, let's see, number eight, sign do, do we need to sign anything on that or no? No, it's just a vote. I have to send the vote off to the uh, assessor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I think once we vote, we notify them that we've waived it, and then they can then that. they can just say, okay, they're, they're not exercising it. We're moving on with what we would rather do anyway. Got it. All right. And ABCC renewal form for fiscal year, for calendar year 24. Um, That's just saying that all of the uh, liquor licenses renewed that we didn't deny anyone or anyone didn't want to yeah. renew it. Yeah. So it's really nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Th this, yeah, this is just a list of those that we either, um, who people who had licenses that decided they didn't want to renew it and those whose licenses we said we don't want to renew it. And there's nobody on that list. So this is basically telling them there's no one, there's no one in that club. So, um, so I will take a motion to sign the uh, renewal certification uh, for calendar year 24. You have that motion? Second. All right. All in favor of uh, signing the renewal certification um, as shown here with, uh, no, with uh, no licenses listed as either failed to renew or disapproved, please say aye. 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 And uh, Karen, does, does everyone on the board need to sign here? This all right. Orange, yes. All right. All right, 
agenda item number nine, cultural council appointment. Um, Amy and Brandon Vogel. I'll make a motion to appoint Amy and Brandon Vogel to the cultural council for a three-year term. A second. Um, well, usually we just um, appoint them until June 30th, and until June, the next the next cycle of appointments. So you do it June 30th, 2014. That's what's on the appointment slip. I know that Mr. Simpson did request a three-year term, but you know. We'll point, we'll point them again in June. Okay, so, so I'll June retract 30. that motion and make a motion to um, appoint them through the end of the year. Or through end the, of the fiscal through year? The, June, yeah, end of the fiscal year. Okay. Second. All right. Um, all, uh, any discussion? All right. All in favor of appointing uh, Amy and Brandon Vogel to the Cultural Council um, uh, through June 30th, 2024, please say aye. 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 Thank you for Thank volunteering. You. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> and your new committee gets sworn in by the town clerk. Yes. And you get to learn about open meeting law. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? <laughs> and forums. Oh, it's so much fun. All right. And let's see. All right. Agenda item number 10, approved select board minutes for November 9th, 2018 and November 28th, 2023. Make a motion to approve the uh, minutes from 11 9 18 and 11 28 23. Second. All right. Uh, any discussion? If not, all in favor of approving the minutes for those two dates listed, please say aye. 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 All right. Acknowledge the. Uh, I got something here that says sign here, but I'm not expecting it. Oh, sorry. We have to uh, sign the uh, appointments. Oh, and that's. Uh, and that's signed by the clerk. So, I'm so glad you put those sign bees here, Karen. Catch my attention. Mike's all cut up on his police reports. All right, uh, let's see, so now that's agenda 11, acknowledge police reports for September, October, and November 2023. Uh, so I'll take a motion. I'll make a motion to acknowledge the police department reports for 923, 1023, and 1123. Second. All right, all in favor of acknowledging those reports, please say aye. 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 All right, and acknowledge the uh, highway report for 1123. Uh, let's see, so there we go. Uh, make a motion to acknowledge the highway report for 1123. Second. All right, all in favor of acknowledging the highway report for uh, November 2023, please say aye. 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 And I'll take a motion to adjourn less than 45 minutes after our start. Come motion here. to adjourn. Oh Second. All right, all in favor of adjourning, please say aye. 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 Just made it, just turned seven o'clock. It just turned seven.